In this video, you will learn how to evaluate websites based on the proven criteria, where proven stands for purpose, relevance, objectivity, verifiability, expertise, and newness. If you are searching the web rather than UNB Libraries databases, how do you know whether your search has turned up sources that are credible, objective, and trustworthy? How do you know whether you can use a website as an academic source? In a companion video to this one called Evaluate Your Sources, we reviewed several key elements that signal academic authority in a publication, such as author's qualifications, publisher, references, peer review, and date of publication. However, these criteria work best when applied to traditional academic sources. You need a different set of evaluation criteria when searching for popular information on the web, such as news stories, government publications, and business or health information. In this video, you will learn how to use the proven evaluation process to ensure that you select online sources that are authoritative. Proven stands for purpose, relevance, objectivity, verifiability, expertise, and newness. Purpose. Who is the creator of the content and what is the purpose of the website? The purpose could include education, persuasion, entertainment, or the sale of products and services. Find the About section for a description of the organization, its mission statement, and contributors, such as this example in Bloomberg.com. This will give you a better sense of the website's purpose and its intended audience. Relevance. How does the information you find in an online source fulfill your research needs? How does the source compare to your other sources? Is the material in the source basic or advanced? general or specific. Review the purpose of your assignment or task. Do the scope, audience, and type of online source meet the requirements? Objectivity. Can you identify the political, ideological, cultural, and religious points of view of the source's authors, publishers, or sponsors? In a critique of other viewpoints, what kind of tone and language does the source use? whose viewpoint is being expressed, and what perspectives are being left out. We routinely favor information that confirms our existing beliefs. This is called confirmation bias. And prioritize information we can quickly remember over other information. This is called availability heuristic. Verifiability. Who are the experts on the topic, and does your source reference these experts or reflect their points of view? Is the information covered by other sources? If the same information is repeated in many websites, it does not mean it's true. You should try to locate the original source of the information and evaluate its credibility, including supporting evidence. Check the URL. It can tell you a lot about the web content. Examples of popular top-level domains include .edu, .org, .net, .gov, .com, and .info. Keep in mind that the top-level domain does not tell you much about the reliability of information, but it does tell you the likely type of information you can expect to find in a source. For instance, the .edu suffix tells you that the material is published by an educational institution, but the URLs with the suffix also include students' personal websites that are not vetted by the educational institutions hosting the content. Also, pay attention to the country code top-level domain such as .ca or .uk, and consider the national origin of the information in your evaluation. Notice how the domain of this URL should tell you that this is not a service provided by Microsoft, since Microsoft does not appear in the domain name, as it does here. Expertise. Are the editors, authors, contributors, and their credentials clearly identified? What makes them experts on the topic? Consider factors such as educational credentials and professional or personal experience. Check if the source has an editorial policy or an explanation of how content is vetted. If sponsored content seamlessly blends with other text and images, be skeptical of the source. For instance, in their editorial policy, the Canadian Cancer Society states that it maintains editorial independence from their corporate sponsors which means the information the CCS provides is not altered or edited by their sponsors. Newness. How current is the information on the website? 
Is it clear when the material was revised or updated? For instance, this Statistics Canada Labour Force Survey from August 2020 has a publication or release date of September 4, 2020. Review this proven handout for the original evaluation criteria that this video closely emulates. You can find the link to the handout in the video description and the transcript. In this video, you have learned how to evaluate websites based on the proven criteria, where proven stands for purpose, relevance, objectivity, verifiability, expertise, and newness.